Hey, what is up guys and welcome to a new Kev5 video. Today we're going to be showing you how to set up and run factions on your server. Now in our previous factions video, we actually showed you how to install it. So if you do not already have it installed, please check out that video. Link will be in the annotation in the top left, in the description below, and most likely in the comment section as well. Now let's get started, shall we? Assuming you have factions and mcore installed, mcore is required for factions to run on your server, so you'll need both installed. And you will also need the correct versions, so that's why you should check out the previous video. Once installed, you would go into your files. Now, unlike normal plugins, factions will not install a folder in your plugins folder. Um, it'll actually install it in the main directory when you first log into your FTP. It'll be called mStore. Uh, as you can see, once we click mStore, you will see a bunch of factions folders. Now this looks complicated, right? Well, most of these folders actually is just uh, for storing information. The massive core folders, um, the M player, M faction, M board. The only really things we're going to be focusing on today are the M config, which is the main factions config, and M flag, which are the default flags for factions. Now let's go into the M config first off. Assuming you have just installed the plugin. Here's what you're going to want to do. You want factions tags, right? You want to be able to show is this here. Let me uh, join my server real quick. Uh, let it load up because it's slow sometimes. And as you can see, when I type in the chat, it will say staff in the bottom left corner. That is my faction. Assuming you want it like that, right? Here's what you're going to want to do. You first loaded factions. You're going to want to go into the M config where I am currently at. Hey, Skype. Skype. And you're going to want to scroll down until you see this section. It's going to say chat set format. Now by default factions actually set your format to its style. Uh, most people don't like this. It does stuff. It's not easy to edit. So I would suggest setting that to false which I have it at currently. And you would hit save then. But we're going to edit a few more things before we set factions tags with essentials chat which is the chat plugin we'll be using you can use other chat plugins if you wish i prefer essentials now we're going to want to scroll down and you can change many things really it's really customizable actually you can set the certain things that people can interact with in a faction uh the certain mobs and all sorts of stuff you can also change things uh factions actually has hero chat integration if you wish to do something like that uh, that's completely up to you. Now here's where it gets a little cool. You can actually enable this if it's not already. It should be set to true. And then you can set the cost and uh, cost to create a factions, cost to claim a certain chunk of land, cost to sell, and etc. Now the cost to buy a chunk right now is currently set to $1. That's a pretty nice price, right? It's not bad at all. Um, this is the cost to create a faction right here. Originally, it's going to be set to 100. I set it to zero um, Simply because I want people to be able to create their factions for free because I mean meh, it's just it's simpler that way You can change the cost for a faction set home the cost to join leave kick invite de-invite home Everything you can pretty much customize this whole plugin using an economy and it just has so much to it. Now, that's really all I wanted to show because that's the basic stuff. If you want to get into the more complicated stuff, uh, I suggest actually checking out the factions page. That will be in the description below as well. But let's move on to the flags. Now, the flags generally are associated with creepers not exploding in factions and otherwise. If you're having that issue, you're going to want to go to the M flag folder. Now, offline explosions, say you want offline explosions to be enabled. This will mean even if the owner is offline, their factions will still be able to be blown up if this is set to true. Now, by default, it is set to false, but you would simply change it to true and then save and restart your server and it will set it standard to true. Now, say you want Endermen to be able to grief, fire spread, friendly fire, uh, if you want power, monsters, explosions, all sorts of stuff. And here's another thing. If creepers and TNT are not exploding correctly, you will want to set this to true by default. It is set to true though. 
Uh, so that's a little insight to the Factions plugin. Uh, we can get into more some, some of the commands I'm going to showcase right here. If you wanted to create a Factions, if you didn't already have one, it would be F create faction name. And that would create the faction. F claim would allow you to claim land uh, if you have the specified amount of money that you've set. Um, you can do things like F slash F promote. This will promote a player in your faction. Now, by default, the promote symbols will be starting out as nothing. It will just say the actual faction name. Uh, the rank above that is a plus sign. The rank above that is a star. If I can find it. And the rank above that is two stars. That's by default. I uh, You can change those if you wish. Now... We're gonna get into some cool stuff now with the factions tags. Now the factions tags, which I will also provide in the description below, will appear like this. Let me get into the essential stuff real quick and I will show you real quick. Come on, load. All right, so let's scroll down to the actual essentials chat part of the thing. And I know this is gonna look crazy, right? Uh, generally it will. It's beautiful that way. But as you can see, factions, recolor, factions, role prefix, factions, recolor, uh, factions name. Uh, these are basically the factions tags. Now this is the default one I've set up. I've set it up to where it has white brackets around a blue text, like so, as you can see. Um, you can edit the color codes to whatever you like. Uh, color code will also be in the description below. Um, but these are the tags and you hit save after you've set that to false in the faction's main config. Like I said, the chat parsing tags, I set that to false. Then you would set, you would basically set all these using your format, hit save, restart or reload the essentials plugin with essentials.reload slash reload like so. Um, that's the command, you'd hit that. It would say reload it and there you go now just to prove my point because a lot of people say that my server is not 1.8 I don't get it I don't really think it's a big deal but I wanted to show you this game mode 3 spectator mode I am in 1.8 thank you very much I hope this helped you out and if you feel like donating a server have a nice day you're a faggot